Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel and I am Shubha. Emirates is very particular about their cabin luggage policies. In today's video, I will explain in detail the Emirates Economy Class Cabin Luggage Allowance. We will know in details the permissible weight, dimension, number of suitcase allowed, carry-on rules according to the country you are boarding from, traveling with infant and special carry-on luggage rules for Emirates Airlines. So before you pack your carry-on luggage for Emirates Economy Class, Watch this video till the end. Also, after watching this video, if you are left with any unanswered question, then write to me in the comments below and I will get back to you ASAP. I think with all the detailed information I come up with every time, I deserve a subscription from you. So press that subscribe button and also press that bell icon and set the notification to all so that you get all the latest notification whenever I come up with a video. So let's dive straight into the video. First, let's talk about the weight of your carry-on luggage. So Emirates allow only 7 kg of hand luggage in their economy class. Under the 7 kg, you are allowed to take only one piece of luggage along with you. This one piece of luggage could be your personal bag, a laptop bag or your carry-on suitcase. But you know, in my experience, I think it completely depends upon the airport from where you are boarding. Because when I was traveling, I was allowed to take two luggage or two piece of luggage along with me. I carried a suitcase which was according to the carry-on luggage dimensions and weight. Along with that, I was also carrying a laptop bag. But I have got the feedback from other friends that they were not allowed to carry two pieces of luggage. So it is always better that you carry only one single piece of luggage, which is 7 kg in total. This was the general rule for Emirate Airlines, what will be the weight for your carry-on. But if you are traveling from Brazil, you will be allowed to carry 10 kg of cabin luggage along with you. Now let's talk about the cabin luggage dimension. There are two rules when it comes to the dimension for Emirates Airlines. Number one is a generalized rule and the second rule is only applicable for passengers who are traveling from India. So the generalized rule for your carry-on luggage dimension is your luggage should not exceed 55 into 38 into 20 centimeters or 22 into 15 into 8 inches. And if you are traveling from India, your carry-on luggage dimension should not increase 115 centimeters. That means when you add up the length, width and height of your carry-on bag, it should not increase 115 centimeters. I have a few preference for carry-on luggage according to the dimension mentioned by the Emirates Airlines. I will put all those product link in the description box below so that you don't have to waste your time searching for this luggage. You can directly click in the product link and buy these products. However, if you ask me whether I will suggest a suitcase, a trolley bag or a duffel bag, I will definitely go for a duffel bag because duffel bags are really small and compact and they are within this 115 centimeters. They are very handy and lightweight. It also comes with wheels and a trolley so that you can pull it along with you in the airport. Moving on to our next section that is flying with an infant. So passengers traveling with infant are allowed an extra piece of luggage which is not more than 5 kg. This could be a carry cot or one fully collapsible stroller or a bag which has all the essential items for your infant such as baby food, formulas, bottles and other necessary items that you might need in the flight. However, if there is less space in the flight, the authorities might ask you to put your stroller in your checked luggage. Now let's talk about baby food and special dietary requirements. So there are exemptions when it comes to baby food, formulas, medication and special dietary requirements. But you need to show an appropriate means of verifying the nature of the item. That means you cannot pack anything which you cannot explain or what the authorities cannot understand. I would always suggest to pack all these items into you know clear ziploc bags so that it is uh, see-through and easily could be identified for example if i have special dietary requirement i will pack items which are easily recognizable for example a sandwich do not pack anything which could be mysterious or which cannot be explained that what this food item actually contains also if you are packing medicines or other medical equipment it is always suggest to pack the prescription for the medicine and keep all the medicines into original packing and for food try to avoid anything which is non-veg or meat because that might not be allowed in the flight 
if you are carrying any powder item which is 350 grams or above you won't be allowed to carry it along with you in your check-in as well as carry-on baggage if you have powder item which is below 350 ml then it could be scanned at the airport and you might be questioned specifically about that item however powder items like baby formulas prescription medicine and human remains are exempted from this rule powder like item if you buy them at the airport that should be in their original packaging which will be sealed by the airport authorities you also have to show the evidence of your purchase at the airport lastly we come to the point about the duty free purchases at the airport if you buy some duty free products at the airport such as liquors cigarettes perfumes etc then it will be permissible in the economy class in a permissible quantity however the tsa 311 liquid rule is applicable on liquid products bought from the airport if you want to know more about liquid rule which is applicable by tsa then i will link a detailed video about the tsa 311 rule which needs to be followed for your carry-on luggage the video link will also be provided in the description box so that you can check that out later so that was all the information about Emirates economy class cabin luggage allowance. If you have any question regarding this video or if you have any suggestion to share with me, please write it down in the comments below. See you in my next video. Till then, take care. I love you all and bye-bye.